Welcome to this setup video for Machina Arcana, the cooperative horror steampunk board game. In this video, we'll be setting up for a two-player game using the core game of Machina Arcana. First, we must choose a scenario. In this setup, we'll be using Horror in the Ice. Each scenario has corresponding chapter cards, and the first chapter in this scenario is called the Entrance. Next, we need to locate the chapter board, which is a long tile with two rectangular spaces. The first space is for the illustration of the current chapter, and the second space is where our chapter cards go. Next, we need to look at some of the information on the chapter card. This value shown here is the spawn rating, which is measured on the left-hand side of the board. We will place this wooden spawn token on value 7 in this track. Next, the horror rating is also shown on the chapter card, which is marked on the right-hand side of the chapter board. We will place another wooden token on value 4 of this track, as shown by the card. The monster threat level is shown at the top. At the beginning of the game, this is set to the first space. In the middle of the board, we have the monster level track, which will begin the game at value 1. Now we will move on to the horror event cards and explorer event cards. Each deck is made up of two types of cards. Core events have no symbol in their right hand corner, whereas the events corresponding with the scenario will have that scenario's symbol in the corner. The horror in the ice events for each deck will be mixed in with the core events and the decks will then be placed next to the chapter board. Now let's talk explorers. Each player will choose one of the characters in the box, each of which has an explorer card and a matching figure. In this two player setup, we'll be using Hank Horton and Blenda Warren, both of which are in the Bruiser class type. Each player will then take one of the four player boards. The card for each explorer is then slotted into the area labeled Explorer. All explorers begin the game with zero essence, so we will set the essence slider with the corresponding token. Listed at the bottom of each explorer card is that explorer's attributes, which will tell us how much stamina and health that explorer begins with. Each of our chosen characters begins with 6 stamina and 6 health, so they are marked as such. Next, we'll take a look at these explorer markers, of which there are 4 symbols. Each explorer board is marked above the explorer space with one of these symbols. We'll stack the corresponding explorer markers on top of the symbol for each player board. Our player boards are now entirely ready for the chaos to begin, so let's move on to the item decks. There are four item decks in the game. Weapons, apparel, artifacts, and consumables. Each item deck is made up of level 1, level 2, and level 3 cards. We can take and shuffle the level 1 items for each deck, separating them into their respective piles, and place them in the play area, leaving the other items in the box. The monster deck is also made up of four levels, of which we will only need the level 1 monsters to begin. We can shuffle the level 1 monsters together, creating a deck, and place them in the play area as well, leaving the rest in the box for now. Now we must place our first map tile, where our explorers will begin the game. Our scenario has an endgame tile and chapter card, which we can set to the side until later. We will shuffle together the non-scenario map tiles, randomly choosing one of them to place in the center of the play area. We can place our monster figures somewhere nearby as well, and separate our tokens into piles for easy access. We are now ready to play our first scenario of Machina Arcana. In the next video, we'll be going through the first round of play.